Hello from the Bayer Water Utilization Learning Center. My name is Alex Rosa, Learning Center Agronomist focused in sustainability. And my name is Diego Charbonnier, Technical Field Associate here at the Learning Center. And today we are here to talk about, well, we are standing on, in front of this corn field to talk about giving you an update on early season crop, corn development and demands at this point of the season. And what we are seeing here in the Learning Center is corn uh, plots varying from V7, V8 up until V10 or V12 here in the, in, in the station. And when we talk about those growth stages, we can resemble that corn is elongating internodes. So fast growing, uh, all the demands for nutrients and water. It's important to point out that at this time, corn is differentiating the, the year, what will become the future year. It's setting its potential for uh, grains in the year. Uh, later, we'll just confirm that with the pollination, but now is when it's actually forming those components. And with all these demands, it's important to give you uh, a background what, of what's happening here in the area. We are very short on water, very uh, severe drought in the area. We, we accounted for 31 hundredths of an inch uh, for the month of June, which is pretty low. If we talk about the year, we are near half of the total rain that we were supposed to get. So it's been very concerning for producers in the area. And one of the practices, Diego, that can, producers can take advantage in those conditions is uh, use water and nitrogen at the same time. How does that work? Yeah, at the same time. So that's fertigation. This is an efficient method of supplying part of the nitrogen when the crop is needing. So uh, it has some advantages like uh, saving time and labor. Uh, also reduced fuel and um, equipment costs. And the most rapid period of nitrogen uptake is between V8 and VT. We have several studies uh, in those uh, growth stages. So this could be a good moment to, ferti to do fertigation. Don't rely on fertigation to apply all nitrogen needed by the crop. It is likely that uh, a growing crop will uh, need significant amount of nitrogen before irrigation starts. So on average, uh, like an example, the crop will take up as much as 50% of total nitrogen before producers start to irrigate here in Nebraska. Generally, fertigation for corn should uh, begin with the first irrigation and uh, be complete by the R1, R2 grow uh, stages. Talking about uh, nitrogen rates, um, 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen um, are recommended. That's nitrogen per acre per irrigation event. However, uh, high rates up to 50 uh, pounds of nitrogen per irrigation are unlikely to cause crop damage uh, due to the diluted effect of uh, water. We're, we're applying a high amount of water with uh, the fertilizer, so that will prevent uh, burns. Another consideration that producers should have is to check that the irrigation is distributed, the water is di distributed uniformly throughout the field, um, preventing runoff, and that will uh, ensure a proper uh, even nitrogen distribution. Now, talking about nitrogen source, uh, urea ammonium nitrate solutions are the most common ones for fertigation, uh, though Ammonium thiosulfate uh, can be used as well. That's especially in sandy soils where you expect um, sulfur uh, deficiency. While well, fertigation is efficient because it's better matching supply and demand of nitrogen for the crop, there are still some potential disadvantages for this method. Nitrogen solution fertilizers are more expensive in general compared to um, urea or hydrous ammonia. The irrigation system also must be set up with special equipment, let's say uh, check valves, injection pumps, fertilizer tanks. Also, the operator should have uh, the uh, certification for chemigation. Rainy weather can delay the start of irrigation, thus delaying nitrogen application during critical growth stages. So that's all I have for today about fertigation. Those are great insights. And just a final thought, we've, we've been so dry here in Western Nebraska that we applied nitrogen with white drops a couple of weeks ago, and we are still seeing uh, nitrogen deficiency in the lower, or in the first leaves in, yes. in, in corn, the lower uh, third. Uh, so we need that, that rain, or uh, in, in cases where producers can opt for fertigation to uh, overcome those deficiencies. 
that's all we have for this week. Uh, shoot us a message, comment on this video if you have any questions, and I will see you next time. Thanks Thank for you. watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.